Ladies and fiction and men, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new, hi I'm Kit. We shall ignore the fact that I'm literally wearing the same exact outfit as for last video and that is because I literally just finished filming that video and I'm filming my next one. Which is picking my October TBR with my TBR gel. Like in the other video, I did try filming this last night. Oh, it was this part of the video where the audio didn't sync up so now I'm just doing it in one. Or two separate videos. I'm gonna do five books and this is the first prompt. I'm trying to like zoom through this. There you go. Oh. I can't read what it says on camera. Um let a random oh this is a new one. Let a random colour generator choose a colour and the book's cover has to match that. Oh, Okay, I'm a, yeah, okay, oh, so it's, okay, Gen oh, grey, okay, I'm going to do it again since that thing came up, actually I'll do it three times, one, two, three, so brown and grey, so I'm going to go for brown. This has made me realise I don't have that many brown books. This is going to be as close as I can get to it, which is Clean Up the Skies, which is a Buffy book, and it's by Nancy Holder. Yeah, let's just get on to the second one. Pick a random lip balm and read a book that is the same colour as the tube. Do you know what? I'm just gonna go pick a lip balm. Orange. I mean, okay. Turned around and I saw this. So, I was born for this by Alice Oseman. I didn't even read for blurb of this one. Um, no vacation, no benefits, and the only retirement is an early death. With the closing of the hell mouth and the awakening of hundreds of potential slayers, Buffy Summers thought she had earned herself a much-deserved break, but full of victory is short-lived. The forces of darkness are not ones to graciously accept defeat. And the collective rage unites desperate and powerful parties more eager than ever to reclaim dominance. Well, as magical distribution of the slayer essence left girls across the world discovering their latent power, Giles recognises to reorganise the now much needed Watchers Council and Scooby's relocate to York and there in Rome, Buffy is drawn to feel more to a charismatic, if inscrutable creature, but then, word, then comes word that a number of fresh slayers are being coerced to join an army of slayers governed by the mysterious Queen of Slayers, and of some evil determined to claim the intoxicating slayer essence for herself. Sander is sent to Africa to learn more about the origin of the Slayer Essence. Instead, he returns to report that alarmingly there's not enough good in the world to counteract the overbalance of evil, and that for deciding apocalypse is drawing much sooner. Alliances are formed and loyalties betrays as it comes down to Slayer vs Slayer, leading to an ultimate battle of champions from Buffy's past and present, and then an unimaginable gift arrives. Okay, so that's this one. That one. And then this one is... I'm going to die. I'm literally going to die. I wouldn't recommend that, says Julia, as if she's been on a two-week holiday to death and she gave it a two out of five on TripAdvisor. For Angel, life is about one thing, the arc, a pop rock trio of teenage boys taken for a world by storm. Being part of the arc's fandom has come in on her everything she loves. Friend Julia, her dreams, her place in the world. Uh, Jimmy owes everything to Fiak. He's their frontman and playing in a band with his mates is all he ever dreamed of doing. But dreams don't always turn out the way you think. And when Jimmy and Angel are unexpectedly thrust together, they end up finding out how strange and surprising facing up to reality can be. I'm trying to pick all terminal books and then I picked Alice Oseman. Next prompt. Right, let's mix it up a bit. Okay, there's that. 
I don't even know if you guys can read my handwriting. Um, close your eyes and spin around three times. Whatever book you point at, you shall read. I'm going to look so daft, but I'm going to do it anyway. What I'm going to do is point to the shelf and then do the book. Can, okay, you can see me. Oh my god. One, two, I think three, that one. Oh, that's not even a shelf. That one. Oh my god, I did it again. There. Okay, I took it to that shelf. Fuck. Right, do it again. One, two, three. Oh my god, right. Okay, I guess I'm reading this book. I feel so dizzy. Um, Out of the Woods by Lena Gardner. What, what's this book about? Okay, I have no clue what this book is about. It's about a child. That's literally all I know. <laughs> Right, time for the next book. I feel like the first time I did this, I got all my new prompts and my books were autumnal. My next prompt, please be something that I can use to get like a Halloween -y book. A book with the same letters in the title as your current show's initial. I'm watching Criminal Minds. So that's two words. Wait, two words? Cemetery Boys. Two words. Bang. Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. One autumnal book, I suppose. Yadriel has summoned a ghost and now he can't get rid of him. To gain his family's acceptance, Yadriel has to prove himself a real boy Joe by summoning his cousin's ghost. But when he accidentally summons the ghost of his high school resident high school's resident bad boy instead, things get complicated. Poor Julian won't go into death easily. I meant quietly. I can't read. And for more time you Drew and Julian spend together, the harder it is to let each other go. That's going to make me cry because I've heard Lost in Another Woods and that made me bore my eyes up. I have now realised this is my last book. Please be autumnal. Oh, this is a baby one. Read a book with a one word title. Done. Hooked by Emily McIntyre. He wants revenge, but he wants her more. James has always had one agenda destroy his enemy, Peter Michaels. When Peter's 20 year old daughter Wendy shows up in James's bar, he sees his way in. Seduce the girl and use her for his revenge. It's the perfect plan until things in James's organisation begin to crumble. Suddenly he has to find the traitor in his midst and his plan for revenge gets murky as James starts to see Wendy more as more than just a pawn in his game. Wendy has been closed away most of her life by her cold, wealthy father. But when a spontaneous night out with friends turns into an intense and addictive love affair with a dark and brooding James, as much as she knows James is dangerous, Wendy can't seem to shake her desire for him. But as their relationship grows more heated and she learns more about the world, he moves in, she finds herself unsure if she's falling for the man known as Jim, James. I went to say James a monster at the same time. Uh, for the man known as James or the monster known as Hooked. Yes, I'm excited to read this. I've been wanting to read this for a while. So, in short, my um, TBR for October isn't very autumnal, isn't very Halloween-y, isn't very creepy, there's like no fillers, I think the only thing that's like fillery is Buffy. So these are my PBR for October.
love. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below what videos you want me to do. Yada, yada, yada. You know my avatar. But now.